Hello YouTubers, this and uh, It's been a while since I've talked in one of their videos. And today I uh, will be talking about the port quality in this new game called Tales of Zestiria. It's a JRPG game, so normally we will pick Japanese audio language. We don't want it's a bullshit English one, audio dub one. If you watch anime before, never ever watch with English audio dubs. Anyways, uh, this game is reportedly is only locked at 30 FPS, and we're seeing it, it's 30 FPS right now. But they have said that they made uh, the graphics resolution to be whatever to up to 4K, I think. But we're gonna see uh, when we go to graphics settings. And unfortunately, it only have 1080p. I thought this game has 4K, or I'm pretty sure I have it in video the upscaler so I'll be back and check if my settings is correct okay we're back uh, yes I have confirmed that I have have DSR turned off so I didn't have 4k earlier and now it's in here and I'm, I'm running now at 4k and so far so good 30 FPS while recording in the X story I'm hearing sound pop-ups though. I'm not sure if that is because of the recording or whatever. I'm hearing sound pop-ups. Anyways, we're gonna go in. And yes, before uh, before I recorded this, uh, I tried running the game without recording. And yes, it's stable 30 FPS, no problems. And we're still playing at 30 FPS, recording 30 FPS, so no problem. Still hearing audio clicking, crackling, or whatever you use. Tell it. Um, the mouse is kind of weird. Oh, you, you see that? It's some it's jumping. I was actually moving my mouse really slow, and if and this is not my proper sensitivity. If uh, yeah, this is this is probably. How I move my mouse normally, so I'm gonna put it the DPI. I wonder if this game has a sensitivity options. The options. It's really fast for my normal DPI, so the, I'm now playing at uh, like 600 DPI. Let's check outside if there's actually a sensitivity option. Hopefully there is. Um, graphic settings, uh, control settings. Uh, there's no sensitivity though, so yeah, there's no sensitivity. Player one, huh? What do you mean player one? There's you can do call, keyboard mouse. I guess it didn't detect any since uh, I disabled my disconnected my controller. Configuration in game battle. Yeah, I guess. I guess you can just at least you, you can bind it. So that's a plus, you can bind the keys, but there's no mouse sensitivity, especially for this game. It's not a RPG that you can just use arrow keys. So hopefully they patch mouse sensitivity, or maybe there's an INI file to, to set it. Anyways, we're gonna try and see the graphics and performance. Stable 30 FPS at 4K at 980 Ti. Z980 Ti. The graphics. Looks pretty good. I mean, uh, I have it downscaled at 1000 AP. I'm not sure how it looks at 4K. And I also disabled FXAA since, well, it's 4K. I don't need AA if I'm playing 4K. So, graphics, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm staring at it right now. I don't see any jaggies, except maybe if you're watching this at 4K and staring really hard, you're gonna see. Jaggies. And also I have a VSIC off, so I'm seeing a, seeing a bit of tearing on quick turns. But, you know, 30 FPS and you want VSYNCs, then you're just going to put more input lag on the game. Anyways, I'm gonna skip this and let's see the more graphics. That's... Yeah, there's a lot of tearing 30 FPS since I'm also gaming at the 144Hz monitor. 
Okay, I'm seeing Jagus in his pants, but I mean, that's really minor. And the audio is still this weird popping sound. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are pretty good. What I was gonna say, it's kinda outdated for a 2015 game. One for, but for a JRPG, I mean, it's passable, I guess. What else can we say in this sport? Um, so we covered motion, mouse, keyboard, graphic settings. Oh, I guess it's the GPU stability? Um, my GPU is at overclock right now. It's not crashing. Like, overclock to like borderline crashing to stable. And it's not crashing like EA games, like you know, Titanfall. If you overclock my GPU, it just doesn't like it. So crash, save it, Battlefield 4. This this one doesn't mind the overclock, but I guess I mean the overclock would change the performance since it's capped for the FPS. Anyways, I guess uh probably I'm gonna test for, for the final one is the shadow play performance. I'm seeing a drop on FPS. Uh, recording and the X story like 24 FPS down to 24 FPS, but that's the lowest I've seen. And I am actually recording with a map called Magic Cube Encoder, so that's more efficient than Lagrith. And I've tried with Lagrith just before recording this, and it's actually going down to 16 FPS recording. I guess that's a save point. What else? I mean, let's try if we see tearing at. Yeah, I'm seeing tearing at really high speed. But it won't show in the video. Sensitivity? I mean, it's not much. Uh, that's not too bad if you have your sensitivity set it, set it right. Like if you have a mouse that has three setting level. And you know, games will won't have a similar sensitivity every time. So it's good that you have a really low one, like your baseline DPI for the second and a really fast one. There's some blurriness when looking at long distance, and the texture is kind of. I don't know. Not that good. It's really close up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna stop the recording uh, when we find the battle, and I'm gonna try the performance shadow play, because for Magic Cube, it's going at the 23 FPS at 4K recording. So if we just find a battle, oh wait, bolts? Wait, ah, oh, it's locking. That's all. Huh? Oh, post. Whoa. Let's see the long distance graphics here. I'm just gonna stare and look for Jaggies. Yeah, texture, texture is just doing whatever. Like, that's really bad on the leaves. Same with there. It's really. It looks really 2D. Graphics close up is really blurry. I guess that's what you get at the port and JRPG at most but yeah I mean it's nice like you're playing a game like watch play a game in an anime graphic style settings but that's pretty much it it's really outdated and I think you know $50 for US customers since uh, I'm a 
I'm paying in Canadian dollars, so we got it at 55 Canadian. Which is cheaper if you convert it to 50 US dollars, but you know. I think it's not just worth it. If you didn't pre order, I think it's not worth it because you're, you're not getting guilt of Symphonia. So I guess this is the battle, and we're gonna stop recording after this. Wait, spa space is blocked? I guess space is blocked. I'm just bullet mashing right now. But I, I've seen if you double tap the direction, if he dodged. Uh, I saw that. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop the recording here and I'm gonna try shadow play performance. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording now and try shadow play. Oh, it's going down to 22 FPS recording right now. Anyways, see so ya. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Um, while recording now with shadow play in 4K. So far, it's 30 FPS in the menu, while the XR recording did drop earlier at 29 FPS. And let's start back again. Okay, wow, so far so good. I mean, K plays solid 30 FPS. Um, I'm not seeing any drops whatsoever. Same with recording FPS. Actually, I can say I can say about recording FPS since Shadow Play don't have a FPS. Um, counter for recording so I'm just re relying on DX stories FPS and also steam FPS at the uh, upper left anyways uh, yeah I definitely like shadow play here more but probably we're going to see the some quality difference later when we analyze uh, the two videos um, the X story using Magic Cube decoders versus Shadow Blade. Um, currently, I set the quality in Shadow Blade at maximum, so that's 50 Mbps bitrate. Also, hopefully, it's actually recording 4K, since this is the first time I'm recording 4K in Shadow Blade. And when I saw the settings and the resolution, it's just saying in game. And the highest I see is 144p, so I'm not sure if it's actually recording 4K or at my downscale resolution of 1080p. Anyways, um, yeah, this is really amazing. I mean, in the X story, we are definitely going down sometimes. Uh, lowest I see is 26 FPS in game, and lowest in recording was 22 FPS. And I'm using two SSDs while using the X story earlier, so theoretically 600 Mbps bitrate maximum. So recording speed is definitely not the bottleneck there. It's most probably being of CPU power. For even though Magic Cube is like the most efficient encoder that I've used in the X story. Although also it generates a really large ass file size because it's loss of apparently loss of this. That meant recording earlier did on Magic of Encoder. It was 80 gig. Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, um I guess we're done here. Um I'll give you the comparison zoomed in of the two videos for to show the Texture quality in Jaggies if there's some pixelation and the comparison on these two maybe if I can find um, a scenario that they're the same. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the analysis now and that's pretty much it.
thanks for watching guys this is the quick port report on tales of Zestiria and also a side uh, topic about shadow play versus TX store recording at 4k resolution all right thanks for watching guys see you again next time